cardio is is just for me to stay locked in now i know for a fact you know if that cardio is to be taken out the routine would slip a small little bit just knowing that i have to do that 25 minutes and getting it ticked off it's like a, another you know goal to have one thing i'll say to you is any step track or anything like that take that off when you're doing your cardio keep your cardio and your steps separate cardio does not equal steps so if you're going running on a treadmill or walking on a treadmill as your cardio take off the step tracker track them differently they're not the same it's uh saturday morning the camera's about to die and if it does it does the current idea in our heads is prepping in 2025 to get in there as a junior we'll see in my head you know if i can stay locked in for it right now i will definitely be able to get up on that stage if we can you know pack on enough size in this time frame get some size on the legs that's why things will have to be you know on lock for the next number of months um, until the end of the year i'm a junior right up until the 23rd of july 2025 so i can compete on the 23rd of july 2025 i'm not sure if there's a date i don't think there's any schedules and stuff out yet but that's what we're aiming for, is to, to get in there as a junior. I've been saying I'm going to compete for at least three years. It's been something that I've wanted to do for probably seven years. Uh, you know, that's, that's how long. Obviously, I've been, you know, a part of bodybuilding and in it, we'll say. Not being in it for those full seven years, but in and out of it, as I said, the whole time. So that's what we're currently looking at. We'll see if that is going to happen. It's going to take a lot of work to get some size onto these legs to have them you know presentable in some shape or form left leg especially is is behind compared to even the right leg um but if we have to do men's physique we have to do men's physique <laughs> something i never thought of but i am practicing posing for men's physique at the same time so i'm going to do one round now I'll do one round post-workout and I've, I've also booked in a posing lesson for Monday morning. Big thing with these vlogs as well, you know, I did in the last, like, when I was doing them like two years ago or a year ago, I'd, you know, think I fucked up uh, a scene or whatever and then I'd reshoot it and then it just wouldn't be the same, etc, etc. Now I'm just going to go with the flow, lad. This is as, a, as raw as it gets, so that's where we have the mic this morning. We'll do a round. I'll leave the shorts on, you know yourself. Give you a quick, quick glimpse at the legs, this after cardio, so you can see, you know, what we're actually working with. Yeah, that's what happens when you, you don't train legs for a year. They were always, you know, a weak part, but I was able to, you know, move heavy weight on the hack squat and leg press, but that doesn't really mean shit, lad. Yeah, that's what uh, a round of posing is looking like at the moment. And just stay on top of it or else I'll get uh, lazy with it, unfit. Another big thing with the cardio, you know, the cardio is going to keep me fit. A big thing is obviously going to be posing and posing without being able to see myself as well. So that's why it'll be handy here to see this this morning, what I actually look like if it was in focus. Um, 
and that's why you can see there you know like with my relaxed shots like my rear relax i don't even do a front relaxed i haven't i can't you know get my lats out there with that front relax and it when i do do a front relax it really does show the weakness in the the chest the adults the arms which is fine we just have to fucking work on it and then it's the same with the rear relaxed i have to like get into a lat spread to put myself in the rear relaxed but we're working on it that's the main thing we're, we're working on it <sighs> fuck it that sunbed is fair relaxing i wasn't doing them for a while and i'm only just back kind of consistently doing them now again no major minutes eight minutes and uh oh, it feels fair nice just relax there just lie there and relax there it's sunday morning we're in just opening up the sunbed shop i should have waited to pose or i should have shaved before i posed yesterday because i shave i did full body shave or not full body my chest and my tummy but you could see there's a lot more like detail visible when you shave even the like those little hairs on top on my arm and my shoulders and here and stuff like you can just see stuff a little bit clearer from, you know it'll be handy for posing now over the next couple of weeks and check-ins and obviously doing posing lesson tomorrow but we went for that indian last night and mm, mm, lad it was actually class it was very nice portions were huge it was a good bit cheaper than i thought it was when, when i got the bill um but i got a chicken satay starter small little thing dan got some like cottage battered cottage cheese or something they give you like those papadam yolks at the start with saucy yolks then i got a house special biryani which is like a two, like a couple of fried eggs on top of like a, a mixed kind of rice thing with uh, chicken inside it lamb inside it and prawns inside it the house special one and that was mint because I can't handle anything anything spicy. I can barely handle a chili heat wave Dorito. So that went down decent. And I got a curry sauce on the side. And I was only looking for like a small curry sauce thing. Like a pot. But like you get this big bowl. And then we got a garlic naan then with that. And the garlic naan was just soft. And like not that much dough in it. And I just put the food into that. A bit of curry sauce. A bit of that like yogurt thing. Which I was a bit sceptical about. Because I hate cucumber that was mint as well and like i was saying the the other day i just don't feel shit after it in compared to you know a chinese a shitty chinese that you get so that was unreal we were going to try a dessert or get our dessert somewhere but we were just way too full like dan couldn't finish hers at all i had a couple of the the chicken bits of the chicken out of hers we left like one full bowl of rice but uh we just weren't able to finish it which was grand i i cleared my plate to be fair i did i did i was tempted to drink a cup of coffee the coffee and vape mix last night but i'm being conscious of the sleep so i had that this morning and things got moving as well if you're struggling to get something moving black coffee in the morning vape things will move give it a few minutes i can't even get to the end of the coffee things will move lad. <laughs> I was looking back at the, the video that I took of the food last night because I said I'd get a little video for, for this and because um, <laughs> there was people like ro in rows of tables and there's like table here we were here another table here Dan had gone to the toilet so I, I was like you know I'll take a quick little video here and it was like Phew! and then turn the camera off and put the phone down <laughs> slam the door watch it Rosa, very nice. That's my first monster in two days, I think, which is good going. That new recycling job, where you have to recycle, you don't have to, but you know what I mean? You get 15 cent back every time you do it. We were in Aldi earlier and I took cans back and <clears throat> instead of putting the, the money towards the shopping from now on, shout out Tom Dooley, shout out Tom Dooley as well. He just sent me a message for noticing that i'm back on the youtube as well he's two weeks out from mbfi which i'm excited to see him act because i will be doing videography and photography at mbfi this year i was there last year and the year before i'm pretty sure as well the year before i was just spectating last year i was doing videos but yeah we got one of those christmas saving gift card jokes put the cans on it i had 10 11 euro nearly worth of cans put on it that 
come Christmas, like today is actually, funnily enough, the 1st of September. Come Christmas, there'll be a nice chunk on that there, obviously, for the Christmas shop. We won't be buying, like, myself and Dan won't be buying, like, a turkey and stuff, because we go to our parents for that, but, you know what I mean, like, it's just there, handy, because, obviously, Christmas is an expensive time, so, if that's not something you've done, I recommend getting one of those, and returning the cans and putting it on that card every single time, it'll just be interesting to see, you know, at Christmas time, how much you've actually spent on fucking that deposit return fucking scheme thing. That's the week pretty much wrapped up. I think I'll uh, leave it here. I bought a steak as well in Aldi later, I might show you the steak. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows if I remember to record. But I'm going to get Dan to cook me a steak. She cooked me a steak for my birthday. And it was absolutely mint. Now, there was oil and butter and shit gone into it. But I told her tonight, leave it out. Because she's the one, you know, that calls me a fat boy as well when I'm fat. So, I, I explained it to her. And the same for anyone else on here. They can be lazy. If they're cooking food, tell them, leave the oil out of it. Leave the butter out of it. I don't want the butter. I don't want the oil, lad. I can just eat the steak, there's plenty of fat in that. Because if she wants me to keep a relatively good nick year round from now on, she needs to help me out and be on top of it like that as well. So it's just small bits like that because she notices, she obviously notices about it. It doesn't, you know, when you're with someone, you're not gonna see the fat going on them until you look at them and then you look back at what they did look like. And it's, it's annoying. And a big thing for me, you know, over the last couple of months, I w wasn't happy, you know, to be like standing in front of Danielle with fucking no top on which is sad now in all fairness it's sad i'm uncomfortable nearly at the point to stand in front of her with no top on you know because it's you know that's my missus and i want to fucking be in good nick for my missus do you know what i mean and uh now i'm finally in a position you know where i walk around with no top on and i can be confident walking around with no top on which is you know it's it's something that like shouldn't be the case you should be confident walking around in front of your missus and vice versa with no fucking clothes on lad you know so that's uh, another big driver for me obviously to stay in shape but i stop chatting shit the phone's gonna fall the minute i take off here now again that's the week wrapped up tomorrow's monday today is first september we're back in the groove lad <sighs> i'll see you in the next one broccoli sirloin onions peppers potatoes are boiling there before it's getting real food Bye.